Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday daily challenge location and finally I'm a panning around. Uh, you guys can finally see DCH, uh, which is the letters I didn't want you guys to see so I just kind of froze the image right here. Uh, what does DCH tell me? Not much. Not much at all so i mean to me just gonna almost ignore that we're at a soccer stadium not a huge one we're at a pretty darn big one i figure there's got to be a, like a, a big team place here if we're gonna be on a um if, if you know, it's gotta be a pretty big team here what what can i figure i mean we got some uh we got some colors here blue and yellow so i'm thinking sweden they, Sweden's got to play soccer. I don't know. Uh, are they in the World Cup? I don't remember. I'm going to say they're not, but, you know, I don't actually know. Does, does Sweden compete? Is com Sweden competing in the World Cup? Who knows? Is Sweden a big uh, soccer country? I know that even less. In fact, I would maybe hazard to say no, but they perhaps are. Uh, but, you know, these colors say Sweden to me. And, um, you know, oh, we're probably at, like, some sort of Premier League place, perhaps. Or, like, in Germany. Or in many other places. But do I recognize any team colors from this? Fuck no. So, I'm going to go with country colors. Because I can at least recognize that. And uh, we're going to go with, uh, with saying that this is Sweden. And, uh, you know, we're going to go as south as possible. So, I'm going to say we are at... Um, the, uh, the, the Malmo Tiger Sharks stadiums, uh, the Malmo Tiger Sharks probably play, uh, I mean, not, not near the bridge, like uh, over here, up here is where I say the uh, Malmo Tiger Sharks. Um, now, they probably won't be called that. It's Tiger Sharks uh, aren't anywhere around here, I don't think. So that'd be a really crazy name. But, you know, it's what I'm going to guess. I have no idea. Let's see. Boom. Okay. You know... The country colors was actually a good it was actually a good way of doing it, um, as it you know Ukraine, they they're repping the blue and yellow too. In fact, I mentioned it a few episodes ago when I think we were in, when we were right over here and there was that those colors. I said, well, we can be in Sweden or we can be in, you know, Ukraine slipped my mind this time, but uh, definitely you know I guess maybe that's why those colors were there. Uh, we were in. Um, Kharkiv, Kharkiv, uh, and we got a stadium over here, Kharkiv, Ukraine, uh, Metalist Stadium, all right, you know, one of the reasons maybe it slipped my mind, I mean, D's, H's, and C's very well could actually, I think they're all, yeah, they're all part of the, the, uh, Cyrillic alphabet, so, you know, what am I saying, there you go, Ukraine, very awesome, Kavir, Metal Work Stadium, all right, well, that was, let's just get, get that name again, the Metalist Stadium. Very awesome. 21, uh, 20, 12, uh, the end of the world, that's how many points I got. All right, everyone, welcome to paradise. Well, welcome to some sort of uh, resort, or maybe, it's hard to tell, I mean, this could be, this could be some kind of condos, but uh, probably some kind of uh, resort destination, which is today's daily challenge. You have to figure out where in the world you think we are. We are somewhere, I mean, pretty, pretty darn awesome. I mean, look at this place. I mean, it's got a really cool pool. <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. That is that. That's the fun part. I mean, this pool looks pretty darn cool. Also, another little pool over there, and then there's an ocean all the way over here. Uh, looks like uh, there are some uh, winds blowing, and uh, I mean, this place looks like a lot of fun. So, if you guys think you know where we are, if you if you just want to have some fun and give it a shot, uh, put down in the comments section below where you think in the world we are. And in tomorrow's video, much like you saw in the previous section, I'm gonna make a guess to where I think this is. I could be close, I could be far, who knows. And uh, there you go. That's really going to be the entire story. So tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? Okie dokie. Well, here we are in the GeoGuessr beta, which is what we are uh, doing. We, we play in the beta from uh, from now on. It's, it's fun, and uh, we're going to uh, start our Let's Play here. It's even... Telling us uh, we're doing that right here. Three minutes on the clock. We're going to get that link at the end. You can click down in the description below. Hopefully, 
Not promising anything because with the beta it's a little bit more complicated. But hopefully you can click down in the description below to get a link to this challenge and try it out for yourself. We got goats. We got, oh no, they're not goats, those are cows. We got cows. Uh, cows and uh, very North American looking roads. Uh, not so North American looking signs. In fact, this sign looks like it got shot up. So we got some, we got some people around here. They got guns. They like shooting. Uh, and you know, a sign is pretty much just a target really when you think about it. So there you go. You can see a shot up sign. We got, uh, we got some, so got some cattle over here. All right, let's read the sign here and see if it, it tells us anything. Um, okay. Grandes, uh, coisas fez o senhor. Por nos, por iso estamos alegre. I can't read. I can't read this. Jose Familia. Hmm. Well, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. If that is, uh, Portuguese or if that is Spanish. Uh, ES387, which makes me believe... Does yeah this this does it and ES is a big clue because ES will actually tell us uh, what what state we're in won't it or, or what uh, which one we're in right that was geo uh, which one would be ES do we got an ES over here come on Santa Rio oh, no no clear ES here it's a little bit annoying all right let's see if we go in here do we have do we have ES roads we have SC all right SC this one RS yeah, no, I mean, that's what that's what it's called. Sao Paulo, Panera, yeah, oh, here it is. Ah, very nice, found it. Okay, here's here's the ESs. We can see we got the ESs, 387. Uh, well, you know, that's pretty much as far as we're going to get, is getting at least the right uh, the right one. Thankfully, these that th those roads are very useful. You know, I don't know if I've really caught on to that tip before, uh, but it is a really good one, and uh, thankfully, uh, that really helps. So those Portuguese... I thought that because of the senhor, it, it doesn't, it's not, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, senor, but without an O, it's with an A, I mean, without an I, without an, there's an H there instead. And an I and an H, you know, they're close in the alphabet, right? They're, they're one spot beside each other. So, I mean, obviously, you know, the, those two those two are almost interchangeable when you think about it. I'm never going to find where we are. And so I'm going to go with, like, uh... Come on, how big is this place? It's pretty big. I'm going to go, like, uh, click this, and we're going to go right there. That sounds good to me, honestly. Uh, in fact, we're going to go a little bit a little bit more north. So, like, right there. Make the guess. And, yeah, I mean, as far as far as things go, that was pretty good. 56 uh, miles away, or 91 kilometers, giving us about 300 points from the max. 400, I mean, 4,700. Hmm. We've got uh, we got some fields here. Okay, well let's go towards the signs. We can see that. Ah oh, man, I really, really wish I had said this before, because right when we were in the beginning, I was like, I have a feeling we're in France, and then uh, it appears. Dang it! I really wish I had said it, because then you know that would have been impressive. Ah, oh, that is annoying. Really, really wish I didn't keep my mouth closed. Um, yeah, so we're in uh, Tourzel, uh, which hopefully is a big place. It sounds like it could be one. Uh, Tourzel, where where would... Okay, there's Toulouse. Uh, those sound alike, but are they alike? Well, you know what? Honestly, probably not. They're probably not the similar. Uh, Strasbourg? No. Uh, I don't really see it. Don't really see anything. Uh, that is jumping out at me. There's that. I don't think we're there. Sure, Toulouse sounds good. Near there, at least. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can spot anything else. Do we see anything that I, that we recognize over here? We, we see a big road. We can see the A61 is there. And, um, yeah, A61. Well, that, that helps. A62 is down there. 64, 65, 63... Oh, God, wow, those A's were all really close to each other. Oh, there's A61. It runs from Toulouse to uh, over here. Okay, cool. So we we got the A61. It's in 12 kilometers uh, from here. And then there we need to go on the, the D611. Okay, so where where is that D? Show me, show me where this D is. Oh, God, there's a lot of D's. D... Uh, 
You think you're going to see that? You think you're going to see D611? You'd be out of your mind if I saw that. D611-3. Oh, D611. We see it. Cool. All right. So there's, there's the D611. And it's 12 kilometers. Now, uh, Leggies and Corbier is 8 kilometers. Uh, so I believe we are, like, right there. D611, and what is that way? Homps is that way, and Olenzak. So if I had to guess, we're right on... We're right... Oh, there's a roundabout there. I'm going to guess we're right up there. So let's uh, let's plot this down. Let's put it right down there, and let's say that's where we are. Boom. Oh, a little bit further north. But you know what? Honestly, 1.8 miles ain't nothing to fudge with. That was very, very good. Look at that. 10 points away from the max. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now we've got a place that I'm going to say looks like it's not France, although it could be. It's wintry, so I don't know. I mean, it's, it's snowy. Uh, winter is experienced. I mean, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it winter everywhere. I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah, some places you might just call it like, uh, oh, it's windy. We got some wind. And uh, one thing we know, there's like a wind. There's a, there's a wind. Oh, there it is. Let's go, let's go towards the wind. See if we can find the wind. So, uh, wind. Well, there's wind in a lot of places in the world. We do know that uh, per person, Denmark has the most wind. Uh, so, that's something to keep in mind. But I don't think we're there. Uh, we got uh, a lot of, we got like STs with uh, little like dashes over them. Uh, there's dashes over that. I think we might be in Lithuania. Uh, with little, like, V, V looking things over them. And that feels, that feels right to me. It doesn't feel like Polish. Uh, could be, could be Czech. Uh, right? Maybe, right? I thought, I thought, yeah, well, we see them, but I'm gonna go with Lithuania. Latvia, how do you feel about this? Latvia doesn't seem to feel about it as much. So we're gonna go with, uh, we're in Lithuania right now. Um, between, well, you know, we got to be kind of close to the water because I'm pretty sure there's lots of, uh, big currents from, uh, from, from, from the ocean. So I'm going to say we're kind of near, uh, like Silut or something. Like, uh, we're going to go like, uh, down, like, come on, right, right in here. There's big currents from, that are coming from the water and, uh, that's the wind, wind currents coming from the water and that's what's causing this. At least that's, that's what I'm going to go for. I have no idea whether or not that's true, but uh, I think it's a good idea. Let's keep going down the road, see if we can spot anything else that might help us. Maybe something's going to say, like, uh, you're not in Lithuania, buddy. And then I'll say, oh, well, there you go. But uh, wherever this place is, a lot of wind. Wind power, it's, it's great, especially if you got wind. And there's not many places in the world where you don't find wind. So, oh, are we? did we just go back in town? We sure did. See? This uh, little S is, is what makes me think uh, we're there. Because, you know, you got you got that. You see, you got that. Like, on, right on Salute, we got it right there. So let's go. Boom. Say we're there. Oh, my God. The Czech Republic. GeoGuessr Beta, what are you doing? At least I mentioned it. See, last time I thought we were in Lithuania, we turned out to be in the Czech Republic. Oh, there you, there you go. There's that. There's the S. The only place in the world that's got it on the S, eh? Well, there you go. We got winds, and we weren't near water either, so, you know, guess who knows nothing? This guy. Uh, two thumbs pointed right at me, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, if you want to get a visual. 3175. Ugh, rubbish, 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 trubbish. Obviously, trubbish is my favorite Pokemon. Not really, but um, when, I, uh, when, when I played Pokemon Black, yeah, when I played Pokemon Black, I uh, decided to play it. I always, I always play the Pokemon games in a weird way. You know, I'm nostalgic for it. You know, what can I say? When, when I was in elementary school, uh, you know, Pokemon was the shit, right? I guess that happened to a lot of people. Uh, but it was, it was real big around, you know, the the first games and stuff. And then, you know, like everyone else, I kind of lost interest in it after the second series of games came out. And then, uh, you know, now that uh, now that I'm an adult. You know, it's 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 fun to go back. So there you go. Well, hold on. We might actually want to might actually want to read that sign there uh, instead of just kind of ignoring it. It's probably a good clue uh, on there, like that might have told us where in the world we are. Instead of having this silly Pokemon talk distracting myself, um, yeah, we're in we're in the states. We know that it's golfy around this area. What do you say? 
Three star. Uh, now entering three star community. Oh god, well it's not five star, but you know they're 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 at least being uh, good about it. They're they're telling us this ain't a five star community, but it's good. So what is this? What does this all say right here? Uh, Fayetteville, where tradition meets tomorrow. Wow, that is a terrible, terrible, terrible slogan. Where tradition meets tomorrow. God, who came up with that? Really hope they didn't pay any money for that slogan. Uh, anyways, historic downtown. I feel like um, I feel like a name like that reminds me of uh, like Louisiana. I don't know. This doesn't really look like Louisiana to me, but uh, there you go. Is Lafayette a place that's in Louisiana? It could be, uh, but there you go. Uh, that's 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 what I'm. That's probably what I'm gonna go with. Honestly, it doesn't look like Louisiana to me. It's, if it if it is, it's in the north, north Louisiana, where things are different than the they are in the in the south. Uh, like over here, sure. Like uh, near um, Tulua. Sure, or Yazoo City. Oh god, now it's the wrong, wrong place. Uh, yeah, near near Bastrop. Sure, we're. This is probably really wrong, but honestly, you know, I'm gonna have to go with that. Gonna have to go with that, anyways. So, like I was saying, yeah, for um for for Pokemon Black, uh, I went and did a a team of all the the stupid ones. Uh, so I I had the garbage, like you know, Trubbish or Garbador, whatever the hell it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure those were right. Uh, I had uh, the ice cream cones, had the chandelier, had, um, you know, just uh, I decided to make a team of the silly ones. All right, we were uh, five, six, one kilometers away. Where were, we, where were we actually? In Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. You're Nashville. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's, you know, there it is, Fayetteville. It's pretty big. Wow. I, whew, boy, I should, I should really enunciate much better. Um, when I when I say that, okay, that was whatever. Should it's it's the kind of place you need to enunciate properly when you speak. So there you go. But that's where we were in the world. Okay, uh, very very nice. Wow. So anyways, what I was gonna say is well, ooh, look at that little sunbeams and uh, lens flares. It's very nice. What I was gonna say is that uh, we in. When I played the new games, yeah, that's right. Pokemon X and Y, I think I had X or whatever. I played that, and uh, I decided to play the whole game with a, a team of uh, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, and um, did I did I choose the frog? Yeah, and the frog, Froakie, but I didn't evolve it. I didn't evolve the Pikachu, and I didn't evolve the other one, so it was uh, it was pretty hard. I mean, I, the, the, it, it was pretty difficult to just use those three unevolved. I mean, they got to, like, level, like, 90, but, you know, it, it wasn't that easy. I think we're in South Africa, uh, if I look carefully. In fact, I should probably just go back to those signs and, and see what those places are. It's one of those things that I'm not actually going to figure out where we are based on those signs, but, you know, I might as well go give them, a, give them a good look. But, yeah, there you go. That ends Pokemon talk for today. You know, what what what, what will I say? I think I'm going to pick up the next ones. Uh, I never played the originals, so it'll be a new experience for me. I don't think, uh, well, I mean, I, 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 they sold probably relatively well, the, the the Ruby and Sapphire ones. I think the Diamond and Platinum must be the least played ones, but I, I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just fun, nostalgic, and uh, there you go. Very neat. Well, now back to GeoGuessr. We actually, you know, back to uh, Nintendo 3DS talk. Recently uh, picked up Mario Golf. Because uh, when I was younger, I had a GameCube. It was one of the first consoles that I uh, bought myself. Although when I bought it, I don't think I didn't have a job. I think I saved up like a year's allowance for it. I guess uh, it must have been a long time because that that thing wasn't cheap. Uh, but yeah, I saved up for it, played that, and uh, one of the games I had on the, the GameCube was uh, Mario Golf. Loved it. Was a big fan. I thought it was a whole lot of fun. I'm going to say we're like uh, sort of in this area, sort of near Johannesburg, uh, like down here. Sure, that's, I'd, I'd say that's probably good. I was a, was a big fan of Mario Golf. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So I recently picked it up on the 3DS, and you know what? It's good. One thing that does suck about it is that uh, there's not really like a big... I guess like, a, like the, the story mode is weird, like... There's only like three championships, and they're easy to win. 
I mean, you don't need to be very good. You can, you just, you just beat it, and there you go. You do those three. But then what, what you do for a long time is go do the challenges. That's, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm having a whole lot of fun doing that. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, sure, we're gonna say we're right there. Let's make the guess. We were twenty-seven nine kilometers away. Uh, so that that's pretty good. We got forty-one sixty-seven points. Not too bad. We were even closer to Johannesburg than I thought. So, you know, I was on the right track when I said that. Let's view the summary. I, I give it two thumbs up, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Should you pick up Mario Golf World Tour? My answer is yes, it's good. But uh, if you don't have a 3DS, then I mean, don't don't buy a 3DS for it. But if you do, and uh, you're wondering if it's good, there you go. There's my there's my short review. If you liked the other Mario Golfs, you're gonna like this one. And if you didn't like them, then you won't like it. But there you go. Also, I'm really sad I don't have a Wii U. And well, not any. I don't have a Wii U at all. Never had one. Cause uh, Mario Kart 8 would love that. Cause Double Dash was my favorite. Uh, but there you go, 2508 points. That is a pretty good score. We were started off in where did we start off? We started off right over here in Brazil, I guess, right down there. It was very very cool. Uh, then we went to France. Very nice. We got that one. With these two pretty much right on the money. Uh, then we yeah, messed up Lithuania and Czech Republic once again. Then Louisiana versus Tennessee. Not good. Uh, South Africa, we well, we got that closer to Johannesburg than I thought, but I thought it was close to Johannesburg. So there we are, 20,508 points. And, you know, the average player on GeoGuessr only gets like 10,000 playing the beta, which almost blows my mind because you'd have to, I mean, that's not a good, that's not, I don't know. I mean, you know, not, not okay, like I've played this game a, a lot, so I know a lot of things that, that I didn't when I started and that any beginner player wouldn't know. But I don't know. I mean, even 10,000, uh, 10, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. You know, 9,000 for a beginner player on the regular one. It seems that this game, you get higher scores, though. So I don't really know. Uh, but maybe maybe there's a bigger difference. Maybe at like 1,000 kilometers, your score drastically drops off. You have to do some tests and figure out how far really is is that much. But then again, you know, when you start off the game, figuring out, I mean, knowing you're in Brazil when you're in Brazil is really hard. Uh, figuring out you're in South Africa when you're in South Africa is really hard. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of places that are really hard to get. Uh, Russia, where the guesses can be is pretty hard because it's pretty much like you can be uh, here is, is pretty much where you can be. But knowing that could be hard for some people. You can guess right here. If it's snowy, you're never going to be there, bud. But, you know, not so there you go. Uh, you, you can guess in China a whole bunch, but you're never going to be there. So, yeah, as a beginner, yeah, I'm, I'm, I keep forgetting, you know? There you go. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Tune in tomorrow for a uh, viewer challenge. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.